Today I want to share with you my small studio space. If this is the first time you're watching this face, hi, I'm Elsa and I'm an illustrator from Portugal. I work mainly from home, this space you're watching right now, uh, but recently I also decided to invest in a small co-working space and that's where I'm dividing my time I'm between those two places. But I, I moved to this particular apartment almost a year ago now, but I'll be moving out soon, which is why I decided to make this video now, to share this space with you and also to keep it as a little souvenir for myself. So let's just jump right in. Let's start with an overall look of the place. This is my studio, welcome. I told you it was small and the reason why I call this a studio is because it's actually part of my living room and kitchen area. It's just one small space for all of those things. And right next to my desk I have this huge window that lets a lot of light in during the day. I love it. And on the opposite side there's my Calyx unit. By the way, all of my studio furniture is from Ikea, as you will see in a minute. And this is where I keep my book collection and other things that make me happy. It also serves as a room divider between the studio and the living room space. And I'm not gonna show you everything in detail because it would take forever. But here are some of my favorite books. And I also keep here my uh, more technical books on this side and my pop-up books, The Little Prince one and uh, a book about uh, the alphabet also in 3D and they are still in their plastic cases because I don't want them to get dust in them. And on the left side, you see all of my reading books. I don't have a lot of them because I just tend to give them away when whenever I finish reading them. I don't like to keep them all at all. So these are just the ones that I really like and I wanted to keep. Now, moving a little bit to the left, we have a smaller unit. Over on that corner, we have some of the books that I've illustrated. And this is also where my bigger books live, because they don't fit in the, in the shelf, so they just live there. And this is also where I have my Bologna portfolio from last year, it lives there. And right here in the front, we have this drawing that I did also last year. And I did when I wasn't feeling very well. And I like to keep it here just to remind myself that everything's gonna be okay. Moving a little bit to the left, you will see my desk. This is actually a standing desk from Ikea. And in here, I used to keep my Cintiq but it now lives in my co-work space. So I just have my bullet journal and my iPad and whenever I really need to use the computer for something more um, detailed, I just use this small Intuos tablet. If we look to the left again, uh, I have this huge black thing over there. Uh, this is actually a tripod that I use for my overhead shots. It's from Manfrotto and I'd really recommend it, it's very good. And over there on the corner, we have just a few of my most used stationary things and also my brushes and this small pencil holder that I really like that my brother gave me on my birthday last year. 
moving to the left one last time. This is the last thing on my studio. These are the Alex drawers, I think. They're also from Ikea. Uh, I used to have my printer over there, but it it was broken and uh, now I don't have a printer. So I just keep a strong light over there if I need it. And now let's see what I have inside these drawers. So the first drawer is where I store most of my notebooks. A lot of them are not used, but I just really like notebooks and I I collect them and here are just some of my favorites. I keep them in here. And the second drawer is actually where my art supplies live. These are my oldest pencils that I have from when I was uh, when I was in school and that I still use to this day. And in here I also have these neon colored pencils. And these are my very dirty uh, watercolor set. Uh, I haven't used them in a while, especially after I bought the these eco lines. I prefer using them. And here are my um, watercolor colored pencils. <laughs> I have these ones from Karen Dash and another set from Fabric Castle. Is that how you say it? I really like watercolor pencils. So these are, this is my collection of colored pencils, I guess. And here are my brush markers. To be honest, I have way too many markers for someone that rarely uses them. So onto the next drawer. This is my Etsy store drawer. My store is actually closed at the moment, but this is just where I used to keep the packaging supplies for that. And in the next one, I have a lot of things, but mainly just products that I've done, such as these postcards and these phone cases. The next drawer is quite messy. It's my paper drawer. This is where I just have the, the drawing paper that I use. And the worst drawer is the last one. I, I have just some random things here. And oh, these are actually my... Uh, originals. I know this is probably not the best way to store them, but this is where they live. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked knowing more about me and my workspace. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to more to know more about me and my videos, please subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.